Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. Today, something a little bit unusual once again. It is my pork and apple pies. All right, let's get on with it. All right, so first thing I'm doing is I'm getting an onion. I'm gonna give that a, just a rough chop. I'm gonna put that into my little food processor. I'm gonna blitz that up nice and fine, just like that. Real nice and easy to do. And these little food processors, they're the best thing when you can buy. So here I've got some leftover roast pork from the night before. I'm just gonna give that a rough chop. That's going in, we're gonna blitz that up nice and fine, make it like a pork mince. Just put that straight into a uh, fry pan like that. Just continue chopping up and mincing up the rest of your uh, leftover roast pork. You could use fresh pork mince if you wanted to, but I'm just showing you how you can use a bit of leftovers. We've put that into the pan. We're gonna add in a little bit of just the Italian herbs that you would buy from the supermarket. Put that straight in like that. All right, some freshly ground black pepper. Give a good dose of that. The uh, meat can handle a fair bit of seasoning at this point. And I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of tomato paste concentrate. That goes straight in. All right. Now we're starting to get a bit of heat into the pan. We're gonna cook this nice and slow. We don't want to uh, burn it because it's already cooked. We just want to stew this down. Add a good couple of tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, straight in like that. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic paste, just to give it a bit more for flavor. And a little bit of chicken stock, all right? Don't need a lot. And uh, you can also wash the excess tomato paste in that stock as well. So that was around about a cup, maybe a cup and a half. So here I've got some apples and I'm coring them. I've already peeled them, right? Just like that. Now what I want to do is cut these up nice and thin, all right? Just like I'm doing there. Very, very basic, very rustic. We're not uh, really concerned with the, much in the way of the apples at the moment. All right. They go straight into our food processor as well. And we're gonna blitz these up and make like a mince out of our apple. Don't go too crazy. We just want a nice rough chop, just like that. All right, that's how it should look. Now, we're gonna add that in and on top of our pork mixture. Just sprinkle that in. You might have to get your hands in there. Make sure you take the blade out first, otherwise uh, you'll chop the blade or chop your fingers with the blade. All right, so just add all of that. And I'm also gonna add in just a few, you know, maybe a cup of julienne carrot. I'm just using the frozen carrot. Nothing wrong with it at all. Stir that through. And all we need to do now is let uh, everything just sit for around about half an hour or so, just on a nice low heat. As I said, we don't want to really cook it very quickly at all. All right, so now it's time to make our pies. I've got these nice little beautiful baby pie dishes, individual serves, and I've already worked out what size I need to uh, trace around to make uh, the pastry the right size. So just get your pre-bought puff pastry, just like that. Okay, your little disc, and as I said, if you've got uh, your own uh, pie dish, use that, you'll know uh, what size you need to cut your pastry. Simply just press all of that in like that. And the puff pastry is really, really nice for these types of pies. It works really, really well. All right, so just continue. Now I'm cutting the lids out and I'm gonna put those lids aside. All right, so there we go. There's our perfect little lid. We've traced that around. I've got all my little uh, pies sitting there ready to go. And if you haven't had uh, pork and apple before, you don't know what you're missing. Absolutely fantastic. Now for these little pie dishes that I've got, a muffin pan or a muffin uh, wrapper works absolutely perfectly. So we can blind bake these. We can put those in. We're just gonna add some beans into the bottom of these little muffin uh, wrappers, just like that. And I've got my oven sitting at around about 190, maybe 200 degrees. And uh, we're just gonna blind bake these for around about 10 minutes, like that. Remove your beans and remove your oven wrapper or your muffin wrapper. 
we don't want that anymore and those muffin wrappers are really inexpensive to buy that's why I'm using them in these little individual cases so remove all your baking beans and simply what we're going to put that apple and pork carrot and onion straight into our uh, pre-prepared pies just like that very very simple to do it's a great way to use up a little bit of leftover roast pork as well you could even use leftover pork chops if you wanted to or even pork sausages they would work as very well as well so we're just going to put our little lids on just like that very nice and simple now I've turned my oven down to 180 degrees we don't want to burn the top of these at all all right so just put those on and if you haven't had pork and apple in a pie oh you do not know what you're missing it is absolutely fantastic simply just get your fork press down that pastry on the top just like we're doing there all right nice and simple mm. And these also taste absolutely fantastic cold the next day we're just going to put a couple of little holes in the top let the steam vent out so we end up with a nice puff and crisp pastry we don't want it soggy so just put a couple of little holes in like that all right and into the oven for around about another 10 maybe 15 minutes or until the golden brown and that top pastry has puffed up all right so Simply all I'm going to do is get a little bit of cabbage salad, my cupo salata. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. Simply to serve that as little pies with a little bit of that salad. The pies are quite rich, but they also taste amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. But more importantly, you want to learn how to make beautiful little dishes like my pork and apple pies. Well, you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I will catch you next time. Bye.